mean, this is a huge, huge issue, of course, uh, the power of the of the social media companies and how to mm -hmm. how to regulate them. I mean, you 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 mentioned this metaphor of of a, of a uh, two-way traffic uh, mm -hmm. in the beginning, um, and I, I'm not sure if that's. I mean, this is what we like to think about social media that is just so great, and people, um, uh, it, it's no longer. A, uh, uh, a, a one-way thing, mm. but it's a two-way thing. But it's it's not. It's because it's actually what it is. Is it's a powerful algorithm that really is in control there, and it has it, it prefers certain things to others. Like for example, um, these uh, these algorithms. They um, 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 you get shared um, if you elicit emotions, right? Mm -hmm. And, and if you if you have a, a brilliant story about some something really interesting and original, and it's very, and people read it and say, "Wow, this is interesting," what are they going to do? They're going to like it, this thumb mm -hmm. thing, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas if you if you write something completely outrageous, completely off the wall, batshit crazy, the people will not like it, but they will uh, click angry, mm -hmm. or hilarious, this laughing thing, or or sad. And, and these re kind of reactions in the algorithm are preferred to the mere interesting thing. So they get shared, and they um, and, and you have a, have a, a lot harder time to to, to get uh, um, to spread your your information. That there is a there's a reward for for being outrageous.